this is Linda D'Antonio. I have the store on Main Street, Hyannis on Cape Cod called Seaporium. And we do these little tutorial videos and it's often on a whim. And it's one of those nights where I said, you know, I don't have a video and everyone always asks. Um, and so we're just gonna do it. What we're working with is fixing um, the, when we were using the Iron Orchid designs or paper clay, whatever clay you're using in the molds and you get separation. Okay, see like right here or right here or where it separates from the edge, okay? We're gonna show you really quick how to fix these. I just did a live on our page. It was super quick. Um, this is just a picture frame. This could be done on furniture. Um, it could be done on anything you want. Personally, I'm not offended by the, the separations that are on here. This one I might have fixed. I'm more, because this is a picture frame, I want this to look like it was part of the original molding. Like this was all one piece and it was carved. If it's on a vase that would never have molding, if it's on something that would never have molding, I wouldn't be so concerned. Like if I was doing a decorative pumpkin and I have clay on it, I wouldn't be so concerned about that kind of a gap. When you paint that up, you would have a little line, but really it's a pumpkin or it's a whatever, you know. But this, on the other hand, I am gonna be a little more careful with because I did use a trim mold. This is called, this is from Trimmings One, I believe. Um, and it's the Iron Orchid Design Clay. It could be paper clay, all right? The nature of the of the clay is it, 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 it dries in the air. And as it dries, because of the way we manipulate it when we're applying the, the clay, and I'm really good about when I apply the clay to not only press down on it, to press in on it too. Because even though you're thinking you're being careful about getting the clay out of the mold, you know what? It's taken a lot of abuse. So you want to write everything you just did to it. You want to like push it back in on itself as you're carefully pressing it downward as well. So that's what I did. Sorry about if that was a loud noise. Um, because we had these corners to meet up, I only had really that one issue my other live video, I just decided to go ahead and, and do something with this because I needed another piece to fix with clay. I really didn't need to fix this one. This was really the only one that needed any clay fixing. So I saved it for this video. What I did was, is I cut the pieces longer than the length I needed. And I really just kept pushing it in, pushing it in, pushing it in um, until they just really wouldn't, didn't wanna push in anymore. And then I cut it a little bit, just a hair longer than I think thought I needed in the angle of my frame. And then when I put the next piece on, again, I pushed it and I pushed it in and I pushed it in and I pushed it in and I pushed it in. If you work fairly fast, this tight bond quick and thick, I'm sorry that it's backwards, tight, tight bond quick and thick sets up quickly. But as long as you're working with it and you haven't pressed down too much on it, you, you can still really work with it, okay? So the clue is, is work with pressing it in on itself first, for the most part. I mean, you know, set it down. Let it, you know, work it back in on itself. In this case, I started with one end and I really tried to move the other ones to the, to the existing piece that was on, okay? And cut generously and, you know, shove in, shove it in there. I don't know what better way to say it, um, but just, you know, really get it to fit in there. And, um, and then you can kind of press down and as it's still drying, if you're still around the night or the afternoon, wherever you're working, just kind of revisit it periodically. And if you don't get to, um, then, you know, you get maybe some more of the separation and we have the fix for you right here. Okay. Again, I don't mind all these cracks. I like this little vintagey look. I really do. Um, in this particular case, I would rather um, fix this than these because this really has that authentic um, look where the, you know, I want it to look like it was part of the carving, but it can crack for sure. It could be vintage. It could be the patina, right? Um, but just be mindful of the piece that you're working on, if, if it's worth fixing or not. All right, tell the story, you tell your own story. 
So let's do the clay first. And again, this is this part you could do, well, you're gonna let it dry and it takes a good day. It's a good 24 hours before it's really dry and you see pretty much all the shrink that's gonna happen. Um, I did, you know, a lot of times I do these at night, like like tonight, and um, and I go in the morning and they look like they're pretty good and then later on that next day, you see more. So you gotta give it time. You gotta give it time. Let it do its thing. And then when you're sure all the, the, the separation is done, um, fix what you need to. So I'm just putting a little bit of that tight bond quick and thick. It could be any wood glue, you guys. We just really like this because it sets really quick. Even though it's thin, thinner than some glues that you could use, it really is miraculous how quick it sets up. So I'm gonna let that just sit in there a second. We got our little tube of the, um, I'm using the Iron Orchid Air Dry, Air, Iron Orchid Designs Air Dry Clay, because I really do, even though I am a, a retailer, I'm telling you from my heart, um, it, it's, it is so much better than the stuff you're gonna get at the stores. Um, maybe you could use a coupon and save yourself some money, but if you're really gonna um, invest in, in, in doing this as a, you know, for fairs, for shows, for furniture, for whatever, um, go the extra mile, trust me. This is gonna make your life so much easier. So I pressed it in there where the glue was and, okay, and we just really wanna kinda get it in there. We could probably get some more in here because that was, you know, a deep one. Just really push it in there. And I'm just using, this is, happens to be a doll um, sculpting tool. Doll making sculpting tool, could be a toothpick. I was using, in my other video, I was using the opener from a paint, you know, the paint can opener. Whatever you have that works, okay? And nails, if that works. Just try to get everything in there. Cause again, you don't wanna go through this trouble and have it shrink. Right, because you got to have it in into the um, the crack enough. So, and then I'm just gonna make some lines. And they, in this particular case, they don't have to make a lot of sense. Some of the other trimmings, you, they're they're more um, structured. They're not as whimsical as this, and you might want to have it. You know, you'll have to match an oval, you'll have to match a line. Um, and again, just use what you have, all right? You don't have to go and get any special tools. This particular case, I don't need to make sense of the lines. I'm just making a line so I break up that, that straight line from that, from that crack, okay? That's all I'm doing. You'll never notice it afterwards. This one, I don't think it's worth, um, I don't even know if you can see it. It's a crack right here. It's, I don't even know if it's worth fixing. I'm not going to use the clay for that because I think it's going to be too bulky. We'll just try and, and, and set some, some caulk in there. All right, there's another little one here. We could do a little clay in here. Let's show you one more time. This one needs a little more separated. It doesn't, again, it doesn't bother me because the way it's separated, it kind of follows, kind of, oops, it kind of follows a loose line right here. Once, you know, it's painted and you put in some um, glaze and whatnot, I don't think you'd ever see it. But let's just, just to show you one more time. I want it to be a quick, quick, quick tutorial. I don't want you guys to get bored. All right. This is super easy. Doesn't take a lot of time. And most of the times, you don't even have to go through this effort, okay? Like I said, a lot of these I normally wouldn't do because I like the patina. You can use, if you don't like patina, you can use a quick set resin. Right, you can use, there's other options. I really like how, you get a, a cool vintage patina look with um, 
the clay. And it could, like again, it could be a store brand clay. It could be anything. The same technique works. You'll get more of these with the store brand clay. I'm just saying, even if you do all my, my, my tips and tricks, there will be more cracks because I've noticed I have another video here on the um, YouTube playlist. Go look it up. It is, um, it, it, it shows you when I had a when, aha moment, when I first started carrying the air dry clay and my first batch, I was, I, I was out of it. I only had one package left and I was doing a big project with the molds. And I'll tell you what, the minute I picked up my old tried and true, it, it, um, I'm telling you, you could see the difference just working with it. The old tried and true, the ones you get at the store, either they're too hard and it's like, unless you have strong hands and you do a lot of hand exercises or, um, you know, there, some of them time they, they're, they're, they're too, um, they're too wet. Um, or in all of them, if you ask me, especially if they're, if they're, they're harder, um, and they just want to crack when you're trying to manipulate them, right? They just, you can see the cracking wanting to happen and this doesn't do it. See the video. You got to see the video. I do it. I, I was like a, a ha ha moment, just like t right now. I just went on and, and, and did a video. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm using the Alex that fast dry caulk. It's a latex, has some silicone in it. It does dry fast. Although I'm going to be going home tonight. I don't need to dry fast, but it's something where I could let it sit. I've let it sit maybe a couple, a few hours, as long as it's not really, really thick. And, um, and, it, and I, it paints and it doesn't bubble up, okay? I don't know what the actual time is. I, and I don't have my reading glasses on, the, the, the writing yet. So, you know, um, when you get to be a certain age, it's just, it's not easy. Um, <laughs> enough of the commentary, right? So, and I'm just going to work this. If you've never used caulk before, don't be afraid of it. It's a little messy. If you have tactile issues, it, you might have a problem, but then again, you wouldn't be doing uh, molds because it, it's it's a mess working with the clay and glue. And it's like, it's like you know, like I always say, if you watch my videos, I'm playing in sandbox, y'all. So here's the thing though, because we have all these little fine details, it's not like putting um, the trim, you know, at home, your baseboards, they're usually just straight out lines like this and you just, it's not very hard to, to wipe it off. Here's in lies the issue is you want to, you don't want to lose the details of this mold. There's a lot of fine details. So see how the caulk is getting like into the flowers. We want to keep the flowers. We don't want to disguise them, right? We, we took, some time to make these flowers and put them on there. We don't want to, we don't want to lose them. Don't want to do that now. So just kind of go back and, and try to wipe off that extra. That's all. Okay. And just a little bit in this crack there. It just doesn't want to go in. It's, it's a thin crack, but I guess it's pretty deep. There we go. I think we got it. And again, now I'm gonna kind of scrape out because we put a lot in there. I always wanna have a damp rag, paper towel or whatever around when you're working with caulk. And this, you don't wanna let it set too long because it, it does, it dries, it starts to set up pretty fast. You know, it's a while, it's a while before it's, you know, a few hours before it's ready to paint. Um, but if you wanted to like wipe it off, you let it sit too long, you forget about it, you go into the phone and get distracted, um, you're gonna regret it if you didn't do a nice wipe off before you left. And it's important. I mean, you spend the money for the caulk um, to store it properly, try to keep it as, you know, as airtight as possible So I, you know, it, this one happens to come with this cap. If you get it, they, you can get it in a long tube and you put it in a gun. They don't come with caps. So what I do is I take like a long nail that has the open head on, you know, the flat head on it. And I put it down there 
and I tape it and tape it. Try, you know, try to do it with like um, the plumber's tape or electric tape, something that really binds on there. But if you don't have that, you know, masking tape, packing tape, anything that you can use to help, you know, the air from getting there and drying out the caulk. Because caulk's one of those things is it's not like you're using it every day. So it's usually a, a while before you're revisiting it. I'm going to fix where we put this clay there. All right. All right. And I'm going to add some caulk here. And when you cut them, this is actually open a lot for crafting project. Um, the tip usually comes up to a point. It's nice to cut it at an angle. See how it's at an angle? Almost like a 45 degree angle. And, and for crafting especially, I like to do it higher up on the point so that the hole is smaller. But um, be it as may, as it may, this is what we're working with. So I'm getting a, you know, a lot more caulk coming out than I would like, but it is what it is. We make it work. We fake it till we make it, you guys. We just get it done. So if you don't know, if, you, if you're stumbling upon me somehow, because I certainly am not, you know, big on, on the YouTube watch list, um, but if you stumbled across me and you don't know, we do a lot of videos on Facebook and Instagram, mainly Facebook. We do weekly videos with Iron Orchid Designs. We are now going to um, kind of like, um, what's the words? I'm not good with words if you watch my videos. Um, but like, um, like shifts. So I'm actually just ending a three month shift at the end of this month. We'll get three months off and then I'll be back to my Wednesday whimsies every Wednesday, six o'clock. As long as, you know, that's still available, that slot after we come back on. But I'm assuming that's how it's going to work. And... You also don't want to use up this little detail from the picture frame itself. You don't want to fill it because it's a nice bead in there and it, the glaze will sit nice in there. But if you have um, the caulk sitting in part of it and part of it not, it could, it could look a little messy. All right, so that's all we're going to do. We're just going to keep filling with the caulk now we did the clay fixes we're just going to keep adding the caulking here and when it's all said and done I know it looks kind of like a hot mess right now because again I put a first coat of paint on here I don't normally do that with molds I like to um, put the molds on first and then paint because when it shrinks sometimes it brings up the paint um, and you see, you'll see the, the wood beneath. So it was like you didn't, you know, do your first coat anyways. Some people like that. You know, some people um, like to do a first coat of paint. This is just, usually what I do is I usually put the molds on first and then paint after. You can paint them while they're wet though. It's actually very helpful. It helps, I think, alleviate some of the cracking because it kind of gives it like a seal. Kind of holding it in place kind of a thing. But I don't always. So there's no rhyme or reason. Whatever works best for you. All right. I appreciate you spending some time with me. Um, I hope I was informative for you. And if you have any questions, you know what? Down below, put your comments and I will answer them. I'm really good about that. Catch us on our um, videos on our Facebook page and give us a like. And if you saw if you saw something here you like, please, we would appreciate a share. All right, tell your friends, get them involved with Iron Orchid Designs, Dixie Bell, where it's all about the creativity and we're all here to help you. All right, you all stay safe, stay well, 
Bye-bye.